I came across this program called Life Flix. It's a Macintosh application for capturing video. It says it works with Mini DV, Digital High 8, which I guess they mean Digital 8, and HDV. But they don't say anything about Micro MV. You do get a free trial, but it only lets you capture one tape before you have to pay for the registered version. So I set it up on my Mac here, and I connected my Micro MV Handycam. And when I started the import process in LifeFlix, it rewound the tape and started playing. You can see it playing there on the camcorder. And here it's saying importing, no audio plays during import. Well, I'm not seeing any video either. So I have to wait until this tape finishes to see whether it actually captured any video or if it just captured video of a blank screen like you see here. Because Micro MV is similar to HDV, but it's not exactly the same. So sometimes programs designed for HDV work with Micro MV, but sometimes they don't. So that's what I'm trying to figure out here with LifeFlix. And one unusual feature of LifeFlix is that it can deinterlace and compress your video to MP4 format while it's capturing from tape. So I enabled that option. I'll see how that turns out if it actually captures anything. So just wanted to give this program a try, even though capturing video from tape works perfectly fine in iMovie or any other program. I just wanted to see if this program works with Micro MV. And here they say you'll get one video import with LifeFlix free. And if you want to use it again, you have to pay for the full version, which is about $30. And here they talk about the choice to either have it compress the video while it's importing it from the tape or leave it uncompressed. They do mention it deinterlaces the video while it's compressing it to MP4. It's also worth mentioning that iMovie 10 no longer works with Micro MV. iMovie 08, 09, and 11 worked with micro mv but imovie 10 which is the newest version does not coming up on the end of the tape here this program is supposed to be able to detect when the tape ends even if it doesn't go all the way to the physical end of the tape it's supposed to be able to detect a certain amount of blank tape and then stop the importing process so Obviously that means it didn't detect blank tape so far, otherwise it would have stopped a long time ago. Well, the tape finished, but the program still claims it's importing, so I'm just going to stop it and see what happens. If this will even work. Alright, I just get a blank screen, so I don't think it imported anything. I'm supposed to save them in a folder under movies, life flicks, tapes, and there's nothing there. So it looks like it didn't capture anything. The question is, did this count as my one tape the free version can import? Or is it going to let me import a tape for real? Okay, now I connected a regular mini DV camcorder. So I'm going to see if I can import a tape from it. All right, let's see if this works. You can see I have rewind tape before import and compress video on import both checked. So here we go. Camcorder is rewinding. Now it's playing, and looks like we're capturing. So I'll see if this works. And it is detecting the scene breaks, as you can see, and splitting up into separate files, but you can combine them later as an option to combine all.
Well, I kind of lost interest in Life Flix since I wasn't able to use it for my intended purpose of quickly converting micro MV tapes into MP4 video files, but I figured I might as well complete this review and give my final opinion about this software. I'd say it's one useful purpose is for quickly converting mini DV and digital late tapes into MP4 videos. If you just want to convert the whole tape or a bunch of scenes into MP4 files without any editing involved. Because it does offer some basic editing features such as trimming videos, but I found that it doesn't work that well with MP4 videos. Maybe if you just captured the video as raw DV then it would work, but then you might as well just use iMovie instead of this. But one thing I did notice is that although the free version only lets you capture and convert one tape, you can just uninstall it and then reinstall it and keep using it as many times as you want. At least if you have App Cleaner installed, which gets rid of all the configuration files that it might leave behind. Maybe if you didn't do that, then maybe it'll be able to detect that it was previously installed and wouldn't let you use it again. But at least with App Cleaner, which I highly recommend you be using on a Mac, then you can just uninstall it and reinstall it as many times as you want. That way you can avoid paying $30 for the full version of this software. But otherwise, aside from the purpose of just quickly capturing DV video into MP4 files, you might as well just use iMovie because it doesn't really have that much of a benefit otherwise. And in fact, for my big conversion project of capturing MicroMV into MP4 files, I ended up using Sony Vegas on my PC. I found to my surprise that Sony Vegas supports MicroMV perfectly, even though a lot of other software for both Mac and PC don't support it that well or at all. So that's my review of Life Flix. It does have some useful purpose, but I don't think it's worth the $30 that they're asking for. But like I said, if you want to use this, uninstall it and reinstall it as many times as you need to complete your project of converting tapes.